What's up guys, Server Supreme here, serving you up some fresh content again today. I uh, just want to jump right in. Today we're doing a quick guide, um, showing you guys how to build uh, a character that you can go in and uh, you're going to be able to get through Privateer's Hold first try. Um, I'm going to show you how to make a, basically a cleric today. Um, you can put your own twist on things here if you want to, but uh, this is just some advice, tips and tricks on, you know, how to build a good starting character. And uh, we're going to run through, we're going to clear Privateer's Hold completely, and you're going to build a character that can pretty much do the same exact thing. So again, thank you for joining me today. Also, if you could, if you like my content, give me a thumbs up subscribe down below i really appreciate it you know I'm, I'm looking to be able to get on here and uh hopefully you know the more people that subscribe and and, and join my channel the sooner i can get to doing this full time and making way more content for you guys you know whether it's a tips tricks uh you know or, or just some videos of some funny content of uh, you know me and my friends or my family getting into some games and just giving you some awesome content so again, if you could subscribe down below, like the videos, come check me out. But anyway, we're going to jump right into this today and uh, we're going to make this cleric here and I'm going to show you how to make a character that uh, you can actually go in and uh, you're not going to get killed by that first rat in Privateer's Hold and you're going to be able to clear that whole dungeon. You know, it might take a little bit of skill, but you'll have a character that uh, will be able to get the job done by the end of this, you know, and I'm, I'm going to show you it, show you this guy in the works. So, uh, but thanks for checking me out and let's just jump right into this today, okay? What you want to do is there is two specific races that get a bonus to hit chance. Um, it's not a really large bonus, but it is a bonus nonetheless. Uh, so that is going to be the Dark Elves in Morrowind. Um, and let's say if it even uh, it references that. Yeah, see, they are extremely versatile in all manners of skills and well known as warriors and mages. Uh, okay, so it doesn't really specify but they get a slight bonus to their hit chance. And then also, if you go to Hammerfell and pick a red guard, they actually have a slightly better bonus. And that actually, it's a little bit more, uh, goes a little more into detail with that, that it basically says, legend has it, that the red guard, I think it should have said red guards, but that the red guards are innately more proficient with weaponry than any other race. So that's kind of a little hint there that they'd be better in the uh, hitting enemies department. So uh, for the best bonus, I would go with the red guards. But if you really like the dark elves better, you also get a slight bonus there. Um, the... Uh, I'm sorry, the Wood Elves from Valenwood do, Valenwood do get a hit chance bonus, but that is only going to apply to archery and ranged weapons. And since the only ranged weapons in this game are bows, um, yeah, they do get a bonus to that. So if you do want to play mostly an archer class and you want to do more hits with your bow, they would probably be the best race to choose in uh, uh, for that reason. Uh, but for this video... Um, I guess we will we'll go with the Dark Elves this time, just to see, because their hit chance is a little bit lower uh, than the Red Guards, so you should get better results with the Red Guards, but I will pick a Dark Elf just for the uh, purposes of this video. Uh, male and female, uh, I think there might be a slight difference in skills here, I don't think so, but for this video we're just going to choose male. And then when it comes here, whether you want to answer questions or choose a list of possible classes, you will choose the list of classes. You'll scroll to the bottom, pick custom, double click on that, and you're going to open up your class uh, skill sheet here. Alright, so out of all your skills, the only one that is going to affect hit chance is agility. Although, yes, it does increase hit chance, that is not the most important factor. Agility does far less than you would think to hit chance, to, uh, to affect hit chance, but it does affect hit chance nonetheless. Um, it is far more important to pick your one of your primary skills to be a weapon skill that you want to use. Um, for this video, we will just go with blunt weapons. Everybody likes hammers, so and you know we will we will make uh, maybe like a uh, cleric kind of class here today. So uh, blunt weapons are going to be the primary skill. 
Um, maybe we'll even do some restoration in here. So we'll be able to hit. We'll do some heals. And what will our third class be? You know what? Another really good one to pick to increase your chance. Critical strike. It sounds like you would be doing more damage with this, but critical strike actually improves your hit chance. So this is another one you would want to pick as a primary skill. Your primary skills are going to get the most points in them when you create your class. So uh, if you want to use uh, bows too, you could put archery up here as well, um, but you definitely want to at least have one of your primary skills be a weapon skill if you are going to be a melee character. Um, if you're going to do a mage, maybe you'd pick destruction and maybe some short blade, or you could also go with blunt weapons if you want to have stabs. But I highly recommend if you're going to do any melee attacks whatsoever, pick one of your primary skills to be a weapon skill. Um, as far as other major skills, you can pick whatever you want. Um, I don't think there's anything here that's really going to increase hit chance, uh, but being uh, here, let's we'll actually name our uh, class as cleric just for the purposes of this video. Um, but as a cleric, I probably also want to have. Uh, where is uh, dodge? Why do I not see it here? Oh, it's in alphabetical order. So dodging. We will also do jumping. And what is the last thing? You know, maybe we'll do medical here. here. So uh, very good at fighting, very good at healing. And then as far as minor skills, you know, uh, this stuff really doesn't matter. This video is basically just on getting a good hit chance from the beginning. So maybe we'll put running in here, you know, being quick. Maybe, maybe I should switch one of these out. Maybe jumping and running should switch. Um, but as you know, for this video, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, so what else? Uh, we'll pick some fat mergy, a little bit more magic. Uh, this guy is not going to use bows at all. Uh, maybe mercantile, make a little money. Um, he's a cleric, so maybe we'll pick some etiquette in there. He'll be good at talking to priests and the nobles and all the wonderful people he's going to help out. Maybe streetwise too, you know, he's, he's all about helping the uh, beggars and stuff. And then uh, Cleric, maybe we'll throw a little Daedric in there, you know, uh, as someone who destroys evil. You know, you come around it, maybe you picked up a, a word or two in the Daedric tongue, and maybe you could even pacify some of these evil creatures. Um, let's see. So as far as traits, we can turn down personality a little bit. You know, we're not a master trader. You know, we're, we're here to vanquish evil. If people don't really don't like us that much, that's a okay. Uh, we will put some strength up. So when we actually make those hits, they, they do something. We'll throw a couple points in agility here. Uh, maybe we'll even take a couple points from luck. Although luck I find to be important. It is not as important as getting these hits off. And maybe a little bit to speed. Clerics aren't known to be the fastest people. Um, and we'll say he's got more willpower than intelligence. So I'm going to put two points there. A couple points there. A couple points there. And maybe a couple in endurance. So there we go. And the cleric. All right, so another very important thing is your special advantages. Added available advantages. So to increase your hit chance, another thing, bonus to hit. Oh, wait, not that one. I'm sorry. Uh, where is it? Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Expertise in is what you want to go to. Uh, we, we're primarily focusing in blunt weapons, so you want to have expertise in blunt weapons. This is also going to increase your hit chance there. Uh, now we could probably just jump right in. We probably don't need any other bonuses here. Um, I do still recommend if you are new to the game, uh, immunity to paralysis is a huge benefit to have because getting paralyzed ultimately means your untimely death in this game. So uh, if you want to get this off the bat, you could always pick a high elf. They get that uh, as one of their base stats uh, for being a high elf. Uh, if you do not, 
that never hurts to get immunity to paralysis. Um, you don't have to take that. Do what you want to. I highly recommend it. And pretty much anyone else who makes videos on here about Daggerfall will highly recommend to get immunity to paralysis. Uh, one more thing. I'm a cleric. like to have, be able to cast some spells. Increase magery. If you're going to take this, everyone that I know recommends take the three times intelligence uh, to your spell points. Take that too. Um, now, if you want to, I usually try to balance this out. Maybe I'll take a little bit of low tolerance. Uh, we are a dark elf, so I don't know if they get resistance to fire in this game. Um, but we will just say, you know, we're a little weak to shock. We are a little bit weak to frost. And, you know, mm, all right, maybe one more low tolerance. Well, we'll take the fire. So if anything, we'll be kind of normal. So those, and then one more thing to increase your survivability, you might want to increase how many hit points you gain or have a chance of gaining per level. Having a lot of hit points, definitely a good thing. I'm just going to put that to 20. You might want to bring that up a little more and balance that out. Uh, this right here is just basically going to make it, uh, the higher this dagger is, the harder it is to level up your skills. The lower it is, the easier it is to level up your skills. So it's not too terrible to have this up a little higher yeah it'll take you a little bit longer to level up but that's not too terrible in my opinion so because remember every time you level up the creatures that you fight are going to be a little bit stronger and a little bit stronger so taking a little bit of time before that happens isn't a terrible thing all right so remember again primary skill you want one of your weapon skills to be up here agility another thing that's going to increase your hit chance not by a huge amount but it does help and then your third thing you want to do is take your expertise in blunt weapons or whatever weapon you chose. Long blade, short blade, archery, great thing to have. So another thing, if you really wanted to do bonus to hit, you can take this as well. That's going to give you an extra bonus, but that is only going to be specific to a certain enemy type. So then you're only going to get that bonus against animals if you choose so, or the Daedra, or the humanoids, or the undead. So I don't really mess with that. I'd rather just have the expertise in blunt weapons and keep my chance to hit the same across the board to everybody. You know, unless, again, your choice. But my recommendations are my recommendations. Um, all right, so we're going to move on to the next part. Uh, another thing, answering the 12 important career decisions, you also get opportunities to increase uh, the chance to hit in this as well. Uh, after the School of Restoration, what magic have you been studying the longest? Uh, I will pick that Mergy because that's actually in my skill tree. Uh, what motivates you into a life of adventure? Um, I'm a cleric, we'll say helping others. Uh, in between formal study, you spent your time, let's see, sparring. That would definitely increase your hit chance. Since your childhood, you have saved, uh, we will go with a Karas. Uh, armor is probably usually the best one. If you want the gold, take the gold. Uh, and gratitude for your services rendered, the Emperor gave you. Now, if you took Short Blade as your primary skill, I would highly recommend grab an Ebony Dagger. The better the quality of the weapon, typically the higher the hit chance you will get. So an Iron Dagger, it'll be harder to hit your enemy with than a Ebony Dagger. So, But if you didn't take Short Blade, then pick something else. I happen to have blunt weapons, so between a silver staff and an elven flail, elven is better than silver, so I will take the elven flail. If none of these sound good to you, I would probably take the book over the gold pieces. Maybe you can take the ruby, but from what I understand, books sell better. Um, I could be wrong, but I would take the book if none of these other things sounded appealing to you. So taking the elven flail. Uh, as you grew older, you received additional magic training in, uh, ch 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 we'll say restoration because I'm a cleric. As a child, your nickname was another opportunity to increase your hit chance. Scrapper means fighting, scrapping. So again, choosing this, give you a little bit of a bonus to your hit chance. You are friendlier than most with, uh, let us say... We'll choose the Daedra since we picked the Daedric thing. This will just boost your language skill with them. I don't know by what amount. I'm sure I could look that up, but at the time, that's not the purpose of this video. 
uh, of all disagreeable types, you have the most personal hatred for, um, we will say assassins because I'm a cleric. You are intimate friends with. Uh, ch -ch -ch. This one, I don't know. I'm going to say a warrior would increase your hit chance. Not 100% sure. Some of these just add to your biography. Bio uh, I can't even say the word. Uh, it will add to the story of your character. Um, and some of these actually give you bonuses. So I'm going to choose a warrior. Might give me a bonus to hit chance. So we shall see. Uh, what god, if any, do I worship? I don't think any of these are going to affect hit chance. I could be wrong. But uh, we will just say RK, birth and death god. You have the most trouble. Let's see. This is going to give you a debuff. So I guess we will say... Definitely don't want to say fighting without magic because that might lower your hit chance. So definitely don't do anything that sounds like it's going to make fighting harder for you. Um, we will say getting along with others. Light fist. Why not? Got a cleric-y looking guy, I suppose. Looks a little cleric-y. Oh, maybe that guy, actually. I'll take this guy. He looks rather friendly. And I don't think I've ever seen a dark elf with a uh, mustache like that, so... Alright, let's see if we get anything. 12 points. Reload that. Get a good bit of strength there. So, you know what? We'll take this roll. We'll turn that to 75. Throw a couple more points in agility. And maybe we'll throw... Uh, we'll get a point in endurance, too. Okay. All right, uh, I was hoping to get a little bit more in blunt weapons here, so we were going to throw as much as we can into that. Uh, major skills. I guess we'll go with dodging. And minor skills, we will go with... Uh, throw some in that mergy. I was hoping this blunt weapon skill would have been a little bit higher, but we'll see how we did. Uh, so that mergy, and we'll just put that into running. I typically keep this at average. Turning this up is just going to make con or, uh, combat a little bit more difficult for you. If you're already having a hard time hitting the enemies, uh, making them dodge and jerk around all over the place faster than normal is not going to help you at all. So if you want to turn it lower, I don't really recommend that. I would just keep it at average. So, All right. And then here we are. This is our Kara, Sarah Lightfist, the cleric, strength at 75, agility around 68, blunt weapon, primary skill, it's at 34. Would have liked that to be a little bit higher, but all right, we'll see what happens. So let's start this game. Again, if you chose a red guard, those skills would have been a little bit higher, I think, or your hit chance is just a little bit higher. That is a um, racial bonus that they get. But the Dark Elves do get that racial bonus as well. It's just not as good as the Red Guards. Alright, so... I do have Climates and Calories on here. So we're just gonna rest for a little bit, see if that'll dry me off. They're healthy. All right, so let me check out my inventory here. Got iron flail. I do have a nice elven flail. Iron cross, some greaves. Put this flail as level number one. My flail is number two. All right. Let's see, do I got any spells? I got healing, heal fatigue, heal health, heal health, all right. So I got a couple healing spells, so maybe I'll put that there. Heal fatigue there. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. And so I got some spells here. All right, so, oh, and always when you make a new character, save your game. You don't want to walk 10 feet out of this dungeon and get whacked by something and die. All right, so let's see how we do. Let's go fight Mr. Rat over here. Where are you at, homie? 
Oh wow, look at that. Boom, dead. I'll take the gauntlets. Actually put those on. Light the torch. No other loot here. No other loot here. Did I get this? Yep, I already went through that. Alright, let's go up here and fight the second creature. Should be a bat around this corner. There it is. Boom. There you go. See, not too bad. We are not going to hit every single time, but we should be getting some decent hits. Now, this guy in here is a little bit stronger. There's an imp in here. I do have an elven flail, so I want to say this should be able to hurt him. Wow, I one shot at him. That's great. Oh, look at that. A finely drawn vellum reveals the secret location of Castle King House, which you record. Ah, so I found a secret location. Look at that. A little bit of gold. Leather helmet. Here's some chain gauntlets. Another flail. Look at that. Things are looking up for us. Uh, we'll get rid of those gauntlets. Light these candles. Healing, look at that. Let's see, start the game, couple little healing spells. Uh, apparently, I learned some stuff about stealth that I don't really understand, but that's okay. Boom, I mean, look at that, doing, doing great already. Pretty much hit almost every enemy here and killed them pretty quickly. You know, that that's also too because I got this nice elven flail. There should be a guy down here that pops out. Where are you at? Oh, what's up, homie? You can hear though, even though I wasn't doing damage, you could hear that I was making contact there with that enemy. So, whoops, I want to do that. Uh, I don't really need any of that. Guess we can check out this shirt and see if we like it better. I'm not looking fancy in the yellow. I'll put the cloak on too. I don't need these shoes, don't need those. That's okay. Put the robes on. I like your yellow, your yellow shirt there, sir. Oh, nice chain greaves. Look at that. We're getting some good loot here. Sounds like a fancy shirt. Chain greaves. Three armor. Six to armor. Look at that. Good bit of loot to start out. All stacked up. You know, on a character like this, you should pretty much have no problem running through Privateer's Hold. So again, if you were having any trouble, this is the way to go. Again, you see, you know what? I'm not making every hit, but boom. Boom. You know, I'm taking a little damage here. Heal up a bit. Oh, let me try this other gun. Oh, that one's nowhere near as effective. Curious as to why it takes so much more mana, yet it heals way less. This guy, yep, he's gonna be shooting arrows at me. Man. That's tough. This guy got mad at me. Got a little tricky there for a second. Tag katana. I'll take the longbow. I'm not much of an archer, but take the greaves. Yeah, I don't want any of that. I'm pretty sure there's a skeleton here in that room, so maybe I'll go around the long way and see if I can collect a little bit more loot. Two rats. screaming in the distance. There you are, guys. 
Also, if anyone has any questions about the mod list or anything like that, I always keep the mod list in the bottom of every one of my videos. If I add anything new, I always let you guys know. Uh, no oil for the lanterns. Yeah, pretty pretty solid character here. Again, if you would have picked a red guard, it would have been even easier to hit these enemies. What's up, Mr. Wizard? Dead. Oh, mage, I'm sorry, a mage. Kajitsu. Yeah, you see, look, 580 gold for that book, 424 gold for that book. Books always sell for a lot. Iron staff. I'm not gonna bother with any of that. I only tend to take things that I can use or need. As of right now, I don't want to weigh myself down and carry a bunch of stuff. Dead guy. Reversible tunic. Interesting. Five gold. Is it worth more than the shirt that I've got on? I like it better. Looking dapper, sir. Looking dapper. Oh, left leather spalder. I don't think I have one of those yet. Nope. So I will take that. Scarab, worth 100 gold. Mono, worth 11 gold. So I guess that's more. But you know what? I think I like that one shirt better. Yeah, you're just looking rather fresh with that other shirt on. So we'll keep that other shirt on. Some growling. Also, never a bad idea, as I haven't done it in a while. Save your game. Yeah, see, you know, and even then sometimes, you know, you're gonna just have... There we go. There we go. I mean, there's still gonna be times where you're gonna miss. I mean, there's always, there's always, they have that chance to, to... What you call it? To dodge your attack. See anything in here? No, oh, nothing here. I was gonna say, I thought that was it. Dead end. Another imp. No treasure. are too old to use. Oops. Maybe I'll take that. It might sell decently. Buckler. That'll come in handy. We get a one-handed weapon. I do have a mod on here that makes containers lootable, so you can click uh, coffins and bookshelves and stuff like that, and sometimes you can get items from there. Just heal up here real quick. Full health there. Save up again. Number three. I'm making quick work of privateers hold here. So you guys just gotta give it a shot, you know? You know, whatever weapon you like, you know, I think I just think the maces happen to look cool and I think uh I don't know, I think usually clerics and paladins and things things of that nature, they like their uh heavy hitting maces. Hello, anybody home? Blue pile. Some loot at home. Ooh, Elven Greaves. That's a nice find. Rare symbol. Seal Saber. Eh, don't want to weigh myself down with that. So, are these 11 armor, 6 armor? I'll definitely put those on. Checking for secret doors. Typically, they're pretty easy to see, but it never hurts to check. Jump around. Alright, so I know I'm going to be coming up on one of the stronger guys here, wherever the skeleton dude is. 
Usually he's in here. Oh, there he is. He's hiding in the corner over here. What's up, Mr. Skeleton? Signature screen. Feel so proud when you uh, conquer a strong enemy such as him. Fantastic stuff. Death bat. And torches up there. Never even knew that. Wonder if I can go up there and light them. Probably fall, yeah. Not very good in the climbing department. Break my ankles. Oh yeah, I can light them. Pretty cool. Look at me getting distracted. I hear doors slamming. The creatures coming up stabbing me in the back while I'm up here lighting candles. Or I'll just fall down and break my ankles. Look at that. Isn't that nice? What? Oop. Okay, I thought I was going to hurt myself there for a second. I'm, I'm really confused as to why... That one seems like it costs so much more mana, yet it gives me so little back. up too. There we go. Looking, looking beautiful. Alright, if I remember correctly here, maybe I should... Or actually, I think I could just use my magic here to restore my fatigue. Or smelling salts. Maybe I should just rest. To heal. There we go. Food is getting a bit ripe. Right, let's see where we at, Mr. Mr. Orc, another strong guy here. One of the more stronger oh wow, alright, never mind. Thought he was gonna be a really tough fight. Apple, we'll eat that. Apple a day, right? Six to armor. There we go. Look at that. We're looking awfully mighty before we even come out of Privateer's Hold here. Secrets. No secrets here. A healing action. But yeah, anyone that's ever had a hard time, you know? I think I've already said this a couple times now. It's the way to go. Oh, I already killed him here. So I think there's only a few other places I can go here before this whole dungeon is uh, cleared out. Yeah, obviously just, you know what? You, you make a character like this, just remember to save. You're not invincible. But this will give you a character that has a fighting chance. And you've ever had uh, any issues before trying to get through here. I've heard of people that can't even get past the first rat. You know, which I've, I've been there. I understand it 100%. So, potion recipe just takes a little bit of practice and, and a little research, you know. Unfortunately, you know, you get this game nowadays. It doesn't come with the manual. You know, you used to get a nice manual with this game, from what I understand. It used to explain everything to you, and now you can't really get your hands on any of that stuff. Right, let me take this one more secret doorway over here. 
Look at this area out and Again, I can say, you know, you made a character, you went through Privateer's Hold, and you know what, you didn't, you, that's it, and you didn't die, didn't have to reload, and you're, you're off, uh, you're set up to have a great adventure. I guess I'll check this. Again, if you guys have any questions or anything down below, let me know. I tried to, you know, explain things to the best of my ability here. Mr. Rat, see you later. I'm gonna whack the heck out of you. Boom, boom. Dead rat. Boom. Nothing to fear. One thing I never knew when it's doing this game too, I saw a lock. Didn't know you can just bash it right open. Who needs locks picks? Nymphair. Steel flail, steel light flail. You know what? I've also learned that the armor sells better than the weapons do. Typically. Not all the time, but typically. Is it dead end that way? I'll go through here. I'm pretty sure these two doors are just small little, like, cells. I will say I've had the most trouble hitting these bats though. There we go. Let's see what's in here. It's always a mystery. Anything? Oh, yep, more bats. There we go. So yeah, you still might have a little bit of trouble getting these bats killed, but other than that, pretty much anything else is uh, not too, too bad. You want to keep your fatigue up, keep your health up. I'm pretty sure that's almost everything here. Now I am aware that you could have also, ouch, done this. Pull this lever here and gone up here, but this video I'm trying to uh, show you that your character that you made here today or with this process you should again be able to get completely through privateer's hold without any issues i'm not really sure what goes on here anytime i walk past there i've always noticed that something goes off and it never hits me i don't know if there's a trap there or something like that if anybody knows let me know uh, something must be fighting Rat just died. Uh, the exit to Privateer's Hold is actually right there, but like I said, I do want to clear this dungeon. And I don't think there's very much left here, so. Sure, there's one more skeleton in this. Oh, look at that. What's up? I was just talking about you. there for a second. I 
yeah, I know that looked a little scary. I was a little nervous too. Again, uh, the skeletons are no joke. Especially at level one. And they're thinking in my head, oh man, I should have saved the game. But yeah, look at that, still going through. Haven't died once. Speaking of, we'll save just in case. You always want to have a lot of saves here too, because you never know when you might have to backtrack a bit. I've had a couple times where uh, I felt like rage quitting just because of the fact I did a really long quest line and just happened to take a little bit too long to get it done. So, and uh, something I spent, you know, a couple days on. I, uh, I even caught, oh man, one more skeleton? I don't think I was ready for you, but fatigue's a little bit low as well. But let's see. Try to get you. I can get him him down. Let's see. Less, less, less enemy of the dungeon here. I got him. Alright. There we go. Yeah, it's still a little bit of skill required. I don't know if you noticed. I kind of like uh, run in, smack him, and try to dodge back out to uh, miss his attack coming through. That's one little technique you can use. Oh, apparently I can cook on this fire here. No goodies here, nothing like that. Is there anything? Oh, I don't want to cook any rotten meat. I will rest till I'm healed, though. Wait, what? Oh, okay, I was going to say. Oh, look at that, and I leveled up before I even got out of Privateer's Hole. Look at that. Ah. Uh, Again, we'll bring that to 70. Agility will definitely help a little bit with uh, your hit chance. Not a whole lot, but it does help a little. Uh, we'll do a couple points into strength. Send it to level 2. You realize that all your life you have been coasting along as if you were in a dream. Suddenly, facing the trials of the last few days, you have come alive. Look at that. That's how you make a character and get completely through Privateer's Hold uh, without dying. Level 1. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm pretty sure... I mean, I'll look at the map, but I'm pretty sure this is... That's completely... Complete run through of Privateer's Hold here. Um, I don't think I missed anything. Doesn't look like it. I want to say, again, this is the whole, whole thing. If there was a place I missed, just, I guess, let me know. But I'm pretty sure I cleared the whole thing. And uh, we'll go back down. I don't think it's this one. No. Yeah, there shouldn't be any more enemies here or anything like that. Go through here and right to the exit. The Daggerfall region. There we go. You have arrived in Privateer's Hold in the Daggerfall region. The date is Turdos, the 5th of Morningstar, in the year 405 of the Third Era. So yeah, so uh, we came in, we built a uh, an excellent cleric class, basically a, uh, you know, warrior with a couple spells, a little bit of healing, primarily focused on, you know, keeping yourself alive. You got the heals, um, you, you've got the ability to hit your enemies and stay alive. Um, you know, you get a couple drawbacks, you know, at least on the character I made. Again, the beautiful thing about Daggerfall, you can make your character the any way you want to. But again, these are just a couple little tips and tricks to um to basically you know uh get you started off and you know make a character that uh you know you're not going to get too frustrated with so and then again most people always recommend you know directly south of here is gothway garden uh we're going to use the uh i forget what this is called travel something travel it's uh it's it's in the description below but uh, it is a mod that allows you to travel like this, as opposed to doing the fast travel. So yeah, you kind of get a little view of the uh, land, a little bit more immersion if you're into that sort of thing. But yeah, this will take you right to Gothway Garden. You see a statue with a plaque that reads Saint 
Perister Mastercroft of Gothway Garden. The rest of the plaque gives a description of his life. I've arrived in the hamlet of Gothway Garden in the Daggerfall region. The date is Turdos, the fifth of Morningstar, in the year 405 of the Third Era. You walk into the hamlet of Gothway Garden, weary from travel. Ahead, it seems, are inns and taverns to refresh yourself in. A worried-looking youth approaches you. Excuse me, we have a bit of a prob problem in our tavern. Some barbarian is making a mess of things and refuses to leave. Can you go and pitch this fellow out? Sure. His face washes over with relief. Oh my, I was worried no one would help us. If you'll kindly head to the Rattan Helm off that way, southeast, you'll find the bipedal monster inside. Do whatever you need for the sake of peace, will you? Thanks. He then departs on another errand. So look at that, we got our first quest here. And we've arrived at our destination. There we go. So yeah, and now, now the world of Dagger Falls is pretty much yours to explore. You know, jump back in here into the uh, our character sheet by hitting F5. You know, we got our Dark Elf Cleric, Sarah Lightfist. Uh, he's level 2, got a little gold on him. You know, and again, primary skills. You want that, uh, you know, well, your your primary weapon to be in your primary skills, whatever you're going to use. Uh, same thing, you, I, I would also recommend putting Critical Strike in there too. That's going to do nothing but make it easier for you to hit them. And the higher your Critical Strike skill, the more of a bonus that's going to give to you, you know. Got to think of critical strike as, uh, you know, increasing your chance to hit them. Uh, you know, I, I hope this was a lot of help, guys. You know, I appreciate you joining me on this little trip here. You know, uh, again, you know, I just wanted to show you, you know, that, you know, Daggerfall isn't as hard as, as a lot of people think it is. You know, it's not as challenging. You know, you can, I, I, I tend to have a really fun time in this game. You know, if you're a fan of Morrowind, I'm sure you'll love Daggerfall, you know, and, and for something coming from, you know, the early 90s, you know, it's it's really not that bad, you know. I know we got 2D sprite people walking around here, but again, it's, it's a good time. You know, you can get completely immersed and make any kind of character you want, uh, you know, and once you get a little bit more experience, hey, Make that mage class, you know, try making a thief, you know, whatever, whatever you feel like doing. So, but thank you again for joining me here. This is going to be the Sir Supreme signing off for today. You know, I hope you love the fresh content I brought to you today. If you could, please like and subscribe or like this video, subscribe to the channel. You know, I, I try to make all kinds of videos, whether it's just tips, tricks, advice, uh, you know, if you guys wanted to see certain mods in action or certain things that you want done, please let me know down below. You know, and I always appreciate you guys coming through. So uh, have a great day. Thank you very much. And come see me again sometime.